The next red. Ooh. Wow. Graham Dodd, 15. Take nothing for granted and a deciding frame in the World Championship. But he's back now. And this packed crowd. And a nice warm handshake. Nice to see. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. The final frame. Stuart Bingham to break. I mean, we know how bad Stuart Bingham will feel from losing the match 8-1 ahead, but Graham Dock <laughs> has come all this way back to 9-9 from 8-1 down and loses. He will also feel terrible. And look at that total points. 933, Stuart Bingham. 934, Graham Dot. What a comeback. Battling qualities that any aspiring player should look at and take note of. Nice easy path to the balk end off the main bunch here for Graham. Wants to get that cue ball tight to the balk cushion if he can. Oh, he's hit it so hard. It's unbelievable now. You could see strange things happen in this frame. That was one. about by the poor safety shot from Graham there. Well, he's Mr. Brown to the other middle pocket by a long way after putting a long ball in this match. And that one's safely in. Can he find something? Stuart Bingham. Five. From deep somewhere. Straight in this red is no good. I don't know if the pink goes to the left corner. I suggest that would be the colour to play for. Because you could give yourself an angle, basically stun the cue ball almost where the red is now. Be able to play some sort of cannon. Oh, he had the angle to come down for the black. Six. And he's played it very well. He's perfect. Three reds above the black, you can stun into that middle one. Even the left hand side one would do. Mm, on nothing. Just got a little bit too 18. much backspin. You saw it take effect. Bingham, 13. Well, having a good look at this, is it a possible four ball plant? Hmm. I just think it might just be pushed to the left jaw. It's a return to balk, so maybe worth the risk. Yeah, just pushed to the left jaw. Needs to miss the green. He didn't. Well, just looked at Stuart's body language, which is to say, this is the thing I always do. And the look on his face tells me he can't get through to this red closest to the left corner. He can get through to hit it, but not pot it.
Yes, don't blame him giving this a lot of thought. <coughs> In the jaws of the pocket. Hard to see any return to the balk end. Maybe a thin clip, but he'd leave the red. It's near the left corner. He's just looking if he played that red near the left corner, half ball, left the cue ball near the cushion, near the black. It wouldn't leave anything easy for Stewart. So that's what he's gambling on. But he didn't hit it as far as he would have liked. And there's a red to the right middle available here. because he's, he's got a black here. I know it's a thin cut down the rail, but it looks a natural to play it. And that red near the top cushion, to play for that red in the same pocket as the black. Just got to pop the black and let the cue ball follow its own line. Oh, well, Stuart, Stuart. Stuart Bingham, one. Overcut it. Settle down, please. Thank you. Yeah, I think he's got nothing left to give. Nothing easy at this stage. decide to pot this black playing with stun and lots of left hand side to career into the cluster of reds he could just drop it in and play for the red near the top cushion but this is a chance you trust a little bit to luck but maybe worth the goal he did play it could have worked out better He's going to have to play the red with the rest to the right corner. Yeah, Graham Dot played the shot that Stuart Bingham should have played. Eight. A frame or two ago. And he put that long red and it's perfect on the black. Good aggressive shot there from Graham. Big shot this. Well, oh, played it beautifully. Okay, could have done with coming a little bit further. But with that red in the other half of the table, doesn't have to do a lot here. The blue is possible and not a lot blue. to do with the cue ball. In. 14. Now, if he can't hold for the blue, he looks to have a nice angle to run on and off the top cushion for the black. And the black's available into both corners. 15. Just an inch away from being perfect on this black. I like to play a cannon on the two reds directly above the black. 
Well, he's playing top spin. He's leaving himself from distance. The next red. Ooh. Wow. Graham Dodd, 15. Take nothing for granted and a deciding frame in the World Championship. I didn't expect him to miss that, though. I've got to be honest with you. I think if he'd played the cannon off the black, I don't think he'd have missed it. But as you implied early on, Stephen, it doesn't look as though Stuart Bingham's got much left in the tank. Yeah, that was an incredibly short backswing. Stuart's got to somehow realise that Graham is in as much under as much pressure. Okay, the feeling's not the same, but he's still under a tremendous amount of pressure in this final frame. Nine frames all and just one point in it. Pacey. Anything can happen now. Literally anything. Yeah, but Graham's looking up to the right corner. He wants to take on, but... The red and the black cushion, and near the black cushion, is causing them problems. That's why he's pointing with his cue. And he wants to see what line the cue ball is going to take after potting the red. And it has done. Just can't reach over. And the problem is, if you get the, the long rest and put the longest extension on the queue, it's very difficult to get the sort of pace, or judge the pace, that you would if you had your hand on the table, but no other option. Didn't have all this in my day, you know. We had those wobbly cues with... Fruit pastel. Yeah, fruit pastel tips, they were, yeah. Easy enough pot, but position <coughs> is going to be tough. Well, he's missed the yellow, which certainly helps. Thank you. I saw a referee the other day when he landed the long rest, uh, said to the player, you've got to take the rest off. Jan de Haas uh, didn't bother there, he picked up the, the rest. <coughs> More or less saying the onus was on the player to get the uh, equipment off the table. And there's nothing easy at this stage of a match and this is tough in normal circumstances.
He's left the red. Dot seven. Yeah. He throws his head to the heavens again, but when you miss and you hit them at that pace, the balls can end up anywhere. Another chance for Stuart Bingham. One. And he wants to screw the cue ball down his right hand side of the table. Choice of two reds to the left corner pocket. And wants that cue ball to stop. He's on the red. But I think he has to go back up to the bulk end again. And a bit more difficult, of course, because the blue not on its spot. But at least this pot in this red will make the other two available, clearly available. Six. This cue ball needs to slow up, though. Needs to slow up. Just about hell for the green. Yeah, it's a lovely angle in the green. Certainly didn't play for the cue ball to be here. The two reds in the pink spot. The bottom one's available, I think, to left corner. He's overdone it again. He may be able to use the other red. He can play top spin, use the other red no. to get the cue ball down for pink. Pots this, gets on the pink. He's given himself a fantastic opportunity. Ten. Can he hold himself together? Two points ahead. Can he find eight or nine pots? A little bit surprised he just didn't drop the pink in for the red. It's near the black cushion there. Well, that was the shot to play, but 16. I think he's just got that tension in his arm. He'd rather push it through firm rather than just drop balls in. Be a good shot to hold for pink under this pressure. In fact, he couldn't. 17. Doesn't make break building any of the easier when the cue ball's going up and down the table as it is. It's easy to run out of position. Although, having said that, nice angle on the green. With every pot, Stuart Bingham will slowly start to feel that little bit more confident they can do this. 20. One. This pink to go 19 points in front, so he will still need the three remaining reds. Played that nicely, still got a nice angle in this red, just to stun up for the pink to the left corner again. He wants to be high though, doesn't want to be short on this and have the cue ball going up towards the bulk end. But he's got a nice angle in the red. So higher than straight he wants to be here. And he just under hit it. Can he come off the left hand side cushion, one cushion and play? Well, choice of two reds actually. It's the red near the black cushion. He'll be playing for that into the same pocket as the pink. Played it pretty well. It gets the end away from the red. 34. N not the best. It, no, not the best. He'd rather be straight than just off straight the wrong side. He checked the scoreboard before the pink. He knows he needs these last two reds to clinch victory. Thirty-five. Mm. Well, it looks like now. Birdie the pink into the middle, then play safe. Okay, I suppose you could roll up behind the pink, play the snooker, and 
hope that your opponent leaves you a shot in the red. He only needs the red. And that's what he's gone for. So he's just praying that Graham Stuart Dock... Bingham. He'll hit the red, Graham. It's easy to hit, Third but he's just praying that he's going to lift the pot, Stuart Bingham. 27 points, the difference. 35 remaining. The age-all story. Hit the red, and can you get it safe? Stuart Bingham has gambled. He doesn't. Oh, and he's gone round it. Foul. And a miss. Stuart Bingham, four. No free <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, back. Miss called, having it replaced. Same problem, but of course, if he doesn't hit it this time, he'll be 35 points behind with 35 remaining. Unbelievable. You don't think you can go around the back of a shot like that. Yeah, I think he was trying to clip the red so it'd send the cue ball up the table. Now the problem is he can't afford to try and play so yeah, exact this time. He's just got to hit the red. Got to get it safe. Thank you. Will the yellow come to his rescue? Well, he's got it safe. He's got it safe. <laughs> 31 points the difference. is uh, a bit heavy but it stops short of the middle pocket mm, well Graham's getting down so not quite the snooker oh didn't want that kiss full ball on the green so here it is Stuart you led 8-1 you've been dragged back to 9 all. this red for frame and match. He doesn't want to miss this pot and take the blue off the cushion, so he'll probably play this round the angles, which makes the pot more difficult. What a pot, Stuart Bingham. After what he's gone through tonight, that's a fabulous One. pot in the red. He's 8 1 ahead. Surely he's not going to lose this lead, John. No. 32 points of difference now as we see that red go in again. This pink for extra insurance. Stuart but he's won. missed it. But for two snookers, he's scrambled over the line and he's in the second round. That pink. Well, he's missed easier shots than that tonight. But Graham Dot needs two snookers here. And I don't think he's going to get a chance to play for any more. What a battle he's put up, Graham Dot. It looks as though it's all been in vain. Surely it has now. And Stuart Bingham will be breathing a big, big sigh of relief. I, like Stephen, didn't think he could come through this final frame, but he has. Yeah, to be fair, he needed a little bit of help from his opponent being set up with that easy red to the green pocket to get him going. But still, he found the character from somewhere. From where, I don't know. Three. Three snookers was required, so Graham has decided that if he could pot the green and brown, two snookers on the blue, that's what would be needed. That's why he played the pot on the green. He'll be so deflated right now, Graham Dot. What an effort he's put in. As you say, John, all in vain. So, 27 points behind, 18 remaining. 
two five-point snookers to be able to win. Don't count this man out, whatever you do. Well, he tried almost impossible shot, and he's left the... Right, and he's put his hand out to shake it as he should have been away. What a mad left round. And he's got to feel the man who lost it, which could have really feel hurt. What a comeback from Graham Dott. And he has stand innovation for both players. Graham Dott in particular, Stuart Bingham, well, he'll be mighty relieved. He'll sleep well tonight, but he's in the second round. He beats Graham Dott eventually by 10 frames to 9. What a game!